Today we are going to talk about a little receptor that lives inside your ear and is a part of your balance and equilibrium center, so a part of your vestibular, called your saccule. Your saccule deals with motions of up and down. So quite often it can be a contributing factor to something that switches on vertigo. Think being on a boat, being in a car, a bumpy ride, on a horse, but also doing interesting moves like lunges or squats because the movement of that saccule is going up and down. So why is this important to test or understand if you have a disruption or a saccule that's not functioning very well? Because those people that have issues with the motion of going up and down will also have issues with joint structures that help you do that movement. So more restriction in the ankles, the knees, and the lower back. You're more likely to feel tightness, stiffness, tension, and immobility in those joint structures. You're also more likely to experience issues like vertigo when you are moving constantly up and down. So by working on the saccule, upregulating that part of the brain, we can also kind of eradicate all of those undesirable outcomes like the pain, tension, stiffness, but also the balance issues. So we have to test for it first. The best test that you can do is reading whilst in a motion like this. So either get the back of a book cover and place it up on a windowsill or something, or write yourself a little sheet where you've got letters and a little sentence. And then once again, place that up on a windowsill or on your desk in kind of eye level. Now imagine this sheet is at the camera. Then what you're going to do is you're going to read as you are bouncing up and down. So if I'm looking at my sheet behind the camera, I'm going A, X, T, Z, P, E. One day I saw a boy who was walking with his one-legged dog down the street. So for me, I can easily read whilst in motion. For people who have a saccule issue, that is not going to be the case. You're going to find that maybe the words become a little bit blurry. It's hard to focus. You feel a little bit ugh, sick or have that little bit of vertigo feeling. If that's the case, you need to practice more of this. We need to open up this map in the brain so that it doesn't become such a threat when you are in motion. A lot of the time I see people saying, I've got vertigo, I'm just going to not do that. I'm not gonna get on the boat. I'm not going to do exercises that disturb the vertigo. But really all you're doing is limiting those maps in your brain. If we can open up the maps through lots of exercise and motion and practice, then you're not gonna have issues with vertigo or with tightness, stiffness and tension in the body because the brain's going to understand more information coming in, therefore give you a better output going out. Now, if that was you and you really struggled with that exercise and you found that you got a little bit dizzy or that you couldn't see the words clearly, we need to upregulate that saccule part of your brain, which means I want you to slow it down. I now want you to just do a slower movement up and down or even just instead of going fast, slow it down to see if you can read the words. If that's still quite irritating or frustrating, you can hold on to something and just move up and down slowly. You can also move down slowly and then up fast, or you can move down fast and up slowly. The end result here is that we want to be able to see, have our visual input clear whilst we are in motion. So therefore we are upregulating that part of the brain. How can we incorporate more of this up and down motion in our lives? Well, number one is I would start using a fit ball more often at work. So instead of sitting on your normal stationary chair at work, perhaps you can try and do a little bit of bouncing whilst writing your emails. This is going to upregulate the saccule, that part of the vestibular, which is therefore going to in turn give you good balance in the long run. So a little bit of bouncing. I mean, bouncing is also amazing for your lymphatic system. It's amazing for your posture because you're going to sit upright on a fit ball rather than kind of slouch and do nothing on a chair. So add in a little bit of motion at work if you can. 
You also want to be adding in more bouncing exercises. Think trampoline, rebounding. Think doing the lunges. Think doing the squat jumps. Okay. Think doing skipping. Skipping is an amazing exercise because it is working that saccule. It is working a lot of motion up and down. Another one I love is vibration. The vibration, the movement of slowly moving up and down, getting onto one side, moving that body up and down is very, very essential for upregulating and balance. <laughs> So vibration plates can also be a really great tool to get a little bit more saccule integration into your life and into your day. Think old school step up aerobics where you are moving up and down. This is incredibly important for the brain to be able to change the information, change the input, exercise and move in different ways other than just our normal straighty 180 motion. So have a think about your saccule. How did the test go? Was the words a little bit blurry? Oh, apart from the step ups. Oh, was the words a little bit blurry or unclear? Did it trigger a little bit of vertigo or dizziness in your sensation in your body? If so, you definitely need to start upregulating your saccule, which in turn will also help vertigo, plus your balance, plus a lot of integration and upregulation of every part of your brain.